hello guys thank you guys for tuning to my channel today I will be doing a review it's not sponsored this is just a helpful tip for those mothers that are um, that are having trouble producing milk um, milk supply for their kid for their babies and they just had a c-section because we all know that a c-section is not really how we're supposed to give birth it's not the natural way to give birth so the body does it kind of confuses the body a little bit so we all know that vaginal birth your body automatically produces colostrum for the baby you know to have once the baby is born but when you have a c-section is a little different okay so a little um the colostrum it does the colostrum is there but it's not you know it's not enough for the baby because i know um for the first few weeks when I when my baby came home and I was breastfeeding I was you know he was drinking um, colostrum for some reason but you know he was so hungry and I was also um, giving him formula because I know c-section is really tough on your body so you just gonna give your body you have to give the baby something to eat so thank God for formula <laughs> so um, th that first few um, that first day I remember um, you know, he was spitting out blood, so I thought there was something wrong with him. So I took him to the emergency room, let her to know that the doctor said it's normal sometimes, you know, the babies, if they're really hungry, they really suck really hard and they end up sucking up blood. So, and it's normal. I thought it was an emergency, but she said it's normal, nothing to worry about. Um, you know, just buy some nipple cream because, you know, crusty nipples and all that stuff. Um... So yeah, so if you have a C-section and you having trouble producing, uh, you you having a uh, trouble having a uh, milk supply. I mean, everybody's different. It's genetics and it's your body, whatever, whatever. You know, I'm just helping you guys. If you have trouble, if you having trouble producing milk, I did some research on YouTube and I found out about the. Um, probably y'all know already, but I'm just, you know, I'm just putting this on my YouTube channel. You know just to help those people who don't know about this um, I did come around um, this um, mother's milk organic mother's milk um, yeah mother mother's milk herbal tea so it looks I have um, it looks like this basically it's it's uh, it's herbal tea and um, it's supposed to help you um, promote healthy lactation you know produce more milk but I heard that you're supposed to drink it as soon as you give birth, you know, you know, for it to work. But you know, um, yeah. So basically, um, I bought this uh, a week ago, and I've been drinking it every morning and going to bed at night. And I have seen that the milk supply is really, really increasing for my baby because my baby eats too much. He eats a lot, like every hour, every one hour, two hours. He has to wake up and feed. And I am trying, I am trying to breastfeed. To breastfeed as much as I can and just giving him formula on like emergency I'm mean, not emergency like you know when I'm trying to get some sleep and I want to you know I want to get some sleep and you know refreshing be strong again and then I will um, give him formula but I'm really breastfeeding like 99 99 99 most of the times I am breastfeeding so they say um to use this with honey um, you know, because it's not, you know, it's herb, it's a herbal drink, so it doesn't have, you're going to have to add some sweetener or something, so instead of using honey, instead of using sugar, you could use honey. Um, one other thing that my sister-in-law, and I really do thank God for this amazing woman, I mean, she's been so much help, I mean, she's been helping me so much through all my pregnancies, my first pregnancy, she was here helping me, you know, she... You know she was doing so she was cooking and doing all this good stuff for me she you know she helped me with the all the swelling stuff the second pregnancy she was doing the same thing oh my gosh she's 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 awesome so I am so happy to have you in my life sister Lillian you're awesome um so she told me um what did she say she said if you if if I am having trouble producing milk or I mean I'm not having trouble I just want more milk supply for my baby because I'm trying to nurse more and I know the the if the more you nurse the more the body produces milk I know that I know that but you know so she said to drink milk um, milk with honey and it's gonna produce more milk because you know that's what she did too with her with her I think her firstborn she wasn't producing so much milk so her mama said 
you know, drink milk with honey. And she did that, and she had so much milk supply. But I am not doing that because my baby is lactose intolerant for now. So I am trying to stay away from dairy products like cheese and milk and, you know, stuff like that. So for now, I am supplement or I'm drinking soy milk. You know, soy milk because I am giving him prosobi, which is mainly soy um, soy formula, so I decided, I was like, well, well, I decided to drink soy milk because it, it just makes sense, really. There's coconut milk, there's soy milk, there is almond milk. I decided to have soy milk because my baby's having prosobi, which is made of soy. Um, so basically, that's it, you know, try that milk and honey regimen, see if it works for you. Um, there's, there are, um, there's also, I think milk flow is another one. I think it's powdered. It's a powdered, you know, it's powder and you mix it with whatever you want. You can mix it with, um, water, mix it with a uh, coconut uh, water. Um, you know, it's also, it's, it's used to prom promote, uh, flectation. Okay. It's not US, you, it's not FDA approved. I think this is, this is USDA organic. I don't know if it's um, FDA approved either. Um, it's cert, I mean, it says it's certified. Um, yeah, it says, um, so let's see. It says, please discuss, please discuss use of this product and in any other supplement products with your lactation consultant, midwife, or other health care practitioner. Um, I don't know if it's FDA approved, but it's um, it's working. It says it's USDA organic, uh, non-GMO pro project verified. It's verified. Um, it's um, 16 wrap tea bags, herbal supplement. Um, it's been there since 1974. I am not sure. I'm not sure about the um, the um, what is it called? The milk flow but I've seen it on Instagram and people say it works better than this it's more expensive this is only like four dollars plus tax five dollars the other one the milk flow is about um, fourteen dollars on t in Target so plus tax maybe sixteen dollars or fifteen dollars yeah yeah so guys so that's it guys I was just you know coming over here just to share my experience with lactating how it's going up for me since I had a c-section and for those that are planning to have a c-section maybe you should try this if you're having trouble you know producing you know, producing enough milk for your baby obviously the more you eat and the more you um the more you eat healthy food and the more you breastfeed the more your body will you know have get the signal that you're still breastfeeding and you know you need more food for your baby so it'll make more um you know more milk but this is just to you know to give it a boost you know, try this with honey or milk with honey and, you know, see if it works for you. Um, okay, guys, that's it for this video. Please do like, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for all the new subscribers. I do have 67 subscribers on my YouTube. I know it's, um, it's private. YouTube does give us, for those that are wondering, YouTube does give YouTubers, um, you know, the choice either to make their subscriptions visible to the world or not visible i chose my not visible until i, ha I have ex approximately 1000 subscribers <laughs> so until then it's gonna stay private um what else yeah so basically just like my videos so subscribe to my channel and soon i will be sharing some workouts that i've been doing so far to lose some of this baby f well to lose to lose a, the baby fat that I have on my tummy. Um, I guess my stomach is still healing. I do have a little bump there because again, this is my third C-section, my third time C-section. It's different every time your uterus gets cut, it's gonna heal differently. So I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna show you guys my little baby bump. <laughs> I mean, not baby bump, whoa, my <laughs> one month postpartum belly shot and you know, see how it looks like and all that good stuff. The baby's asleep again. I'm not showing out my baby on social media. I mean, not you know, on YouTube. Just because I don't know. Maybe later I'll show. You know, I'll bring him and say hi and all that's good stuff. But yeah, so this is the little. See, there's a little um right here. How they cut me is still healing. So there's like an extra skin here that I need to tighten my stomach. So. Um, hopefully I will get, um, 
one of those course not, not a corset uh, what is it called I forget cincture I'm gonna get a cincture after six weeks after I get okay from my doctor after six weeks and she tells me okay and then I'm gonna buy a stomach cinch you know a um, belly cincture and from corset deals dot no from orchard corset and try to you know bring my stomach back together and the muscles working out good and all that stuff so guys until until next time guys thank you guys for watching this video i know i've been rumbling until next time guys thank you guys.